Welcome to part 2 of the FMP tutorial video series. Specification limits are used to set lower and upper limits of tolerance. This is useful to assess the performance of your production process. When the value is within limits, there will be a single beep. When the value is not within limits, there will be a down or up arrow displayed and multiple beeps will sound instead of a single beep. Display resolution allows you to change the number of decimal places the measurement results will be displayed in. High increases the number of decimal places while low reduces the number of decimal places. Block size allows you to automatically block results according to a fixed block size. This is useful to differentiate measurement spots. To signify the closing of each block, two beeps will sound instead of the usual single beep. Eye single readings is used for the computation of values instead of single readings. This is useful for measuring rough surfaces which have high standard deviations. There are four options, including average, maximum, minimum, or mid. Average is the mean value in the block, maximum is the largest value in the block, minimum is the smallest value in the block, and mid is the midpoint. Outlier reject can be used to reject readings that are distant from other readings. Automatic rejects readings based on limits set, while sigma rejects readings based on the sigma limits. Measurements that are recognized as outliers during outlier rejection are not included in the statistical evaluation. Measurement specification can be used to measure according to a specification such as SSPCPA2 and IMOPSPC. There are a range of options included with the FMP. Offset is a feature available to automatically subtract an offset value from the actual measurement reading. This can be used when you only want to measure the paint coating when there is a zinc layer below it. Finally, block results and final results can be viewed on the FMP instrument. Press block results to show the block results which includes statistical information about each block. Press final results to show the overall results including a histogram. This is the end of part 2. Next, we have part 3 on using the Fisher Data Center to create a report.